everybody i'm fixing to head out to the playground throw some knives it's beautiful weather gonna catch it while i can but i wanted to give you my first day impression of carrying the uh, spider co tenacious blackout serrated edges uh, i know it's only the first day and i'll give you an update in a couple of weeks but here's my first initial impression of this knife at work i didn't take a second knife or third knife i took this solely took this one i love the weight of it first of all this is that fiberglass reinforced nylon and it makes it lighter and i love that lightness this fiberglass reinforced nylon this texture on it is is like i've never felt before all these little, I don't know if you want to call them little squares, whatever, they're all going in different directions. It's, it's, it's like rough, you know? It's not rough, uncomfortable. It's rough where you're not going to lose your grip at all. Along with that jipping, no siree. I am totally impressed with that texture. That's, I'm so glad I got this over the uh, G10 for me personally. This is all personal. Uh, I was able to use the serrated edges, and I should have done a video of that, cutting uh, some three-quarter inch poly rope. Uh, it did very well. It just went right through it like butter, the serrated part. The knife part, excellent. Sharp. I cut through some boxes. It has some supplies come in, so I cut through some boxes. No problem. Uh, I'm still getting used to opening it, and it doesn't really bother me. I can do it one-handed. That's what I was concerned about. Uh, the pocket clip. It's not a deep carry, and neither was my other one, so that's okay. But this one slips in just really, really nice in the pocket without snagging or catching on your britches, your pockets. Well, I was wearing long pants today, this morning, because it was uh, kind of chilly. And those particular pants have a thick pocket. And a lot of times I struggle to get my uh, knife on it. But this one just went right over it, the way it's designed, that, that loop, I guess, that opened up loop. So, uh, it went through uh, this morning at 5 a.m. I had it exposed to the uh, salt water, sand, chlorine. Uh, I also uh, had to do a quick repair on a sprinkler and it got into some mud. And another pro I love, this is why it's great for work, is I call this like skeletonized. It's an opened frame. You know what I'm saying? So I was able to hose this off Hose it off real good, and then spray some WD-40 on it, and she's good to go. So, my first day, I am impressed with this. I really am. And uh, I know it's the uh, lower end of the spider codes, and I'm happy with it. I'm content. I don't see any, any, any uh, reason why she go any further than this, other than I, I might want to get that chan color when I was telling you all about. But yeah, this is the Spider Co. Tenacious Serrated Edges. Oh, one more thing. When I was cleaning it off, y'all didn't tell me this. When I was cleaning it off, I thought I had a uh, fake or something was wrong with it. This side has the uh, spider, okay? And there's the steel right there. And this side, as I was wiping it down, you see that? So I immediately... Y'all know what it is already before I tell you, but those that don't, I immediately Googled uh, markings on the Spyderco Tenacious Blade. And that is the initial of the designer maker of Spyderco. Don't know the names right off. I did. I read on it, and it's pretty cool. I love that. I think that's awesome to have that little uh, initial signature of the makers. I think it's the father and son. And they're out of Colorado. And this is, this is uh, done offshores, but it's got the Spider Co, Co backup, Spider Co design, and I'm happy with it. I really am. This is a go. This is a go. So I highly recommend the Spider Co Tenacious. All right, I'm going out there and throw some knives. Y'all take care.